You know, there's a lot that goes into saving the lives of the unborn. A lot of things that you may not know about. But today, I'm so excited. My good friend Keith Young from Vision for Life is here in the house to discuss the importance of collaborating with pregnancy centers on marketing strategies. It's going to be awesome. We've also got an update from our last prayer walk, which was completely outstanding. You're not going to want to miss what we're about to share with you. My wife is in the house, Pastor Tiffany. It is going to be a great time. Lock and load, ready your weapons, because this special edition of Hope Today, Life in a post row World, starts right now. Well, I'm so glad that you have tuned in. Welcome to this special edition of Hope Today, Life in a post row World. It's a great day because in the kingdom of God, it is a powerful time because we are standing for life. You're tuning in because we are all standing for life. I'm Jay Anthony Gilbert, and I'm here with my lovely wife, Pastor Tiffany. It's good to be with you. You're looking lovely today. Good to be here. I like that we're matching today. We're matching. We're yes. on one accord. That's, That's important. <laughs> that is very important. Very important. Even in dress. Even in dress, That's right. it's important. You got so. the Holy Ghost memo. I got the Holy Ghost memo. That's right. Listen, if you need to go put, what'd you call this, salmon? What, what would like, it be? Yeah, like it's a, like, I think you're right. It's a like a salmon. salmon, coral, something going on. And for those of you that don't it. know, my wife is really the one that has all of the, 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 the fashion sense and all of that. If you want to know about skin, teeth, hair, makeup, nails, she's the one to tune in. Now, I know I'm digressing right here, but I'm just, just taking a, a minute to, to right. warm people up a little bit. But you always look wonderful, and I'm Thank so you glad you're too. my wife. Thank you. Awesome. Likewise. Well, listen, we're so glad that you guys have tuned in as well. It's going to be a great day today, and I'm telling you what, you are not going to want to miss what is about to be shared with you today. And while we're talking about that, give us a little update. You know, the whole purpose of this show, babe, is to be able to talk about what God is doing in our center at East Liberty Women's Care Center. Center, Voices for the Unborn, and there's always something great happening always, at our center. And always. a lot of it, we're going to talk a little bit about why that's happening with yeah. our guests, but what's coming up? Yeah, God is moving, and you're so right, and he's always moving in our center. I want to thank all of you who have taken the time and made the commitment to pray with us. We need your prayers consistently. If you haven't made that commitment, we're asking you to do that because your prayers make an impact. Right. In fact, Pastor Jay, just last week, there was a woman who had an appointment and um, she she chose life, which was amazing. We all, we have a little text thread, and you know the women that are in there volunteering, they let us know who chose life. If we had another uh, mother who chose life, and so we all can rejoice and continue to pray for that mother's womb. Well, then after that, we got another text, and it said that um, unfortunately the woman uh, was having a miscarriage. And we never like to hear that because we know how disappointing it is for that woman who just chose life. But God is on, on. the move, on Pastor the move. Jay. And so I got another text that said the woman that thought that she was having a miscarriage, now she decided to keep her appointment, her ultrasound appointment. And when she had the ultrasound, the baby was very much alive and well. Wow. God is That's good. So awesome. And we just all rejoice yeah. because God is yeah. so good. It doesn't matter. You know what I love about God? Even though the, the doctors may have a certain report or you may even feel something, he is our great physician. He is the one that has the final say so, Amen. Pastor Jay. You know what I feel? There may be somebody even watching right now. I just feel this under the anointing of the Holy Spirit that you may be battling with your pregnancy right now. There's mm -hmm. somebody watching right now. You're trying to have children. Mm -hmm. The doctors told you that you won't be able to have any. And there's somebody watching right now that you're in the middle and getting some complications. I just feel an anointing to yeah. pray right now, Amen. just supernaturally. Father, I pray that those that are watching right now in the name of Jesus that haven't been able to conceive that right now I command your womb to be open and yes, to receive God. strength in the name of Jesus to carry full term and father I bind up that spirit that abortion death spirit that would try to disrupt the pregnancy of the one that is 
watching right now. And Father, I speak life over them in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, giving you the yes. praise, the honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Now listen, I feel an anointing right now that there's somebody watching. Mm -hmm. And as you call in and dial that number on that screen, 888-665-4483, there are anointed prayer partners. I'm telling you, just lay your hands on your belly right now. Somebody's receiving the anointing. Amen. That baby Amen. is going to come forth in the name of Jesus. If you know somebody that is battling right now, mm -hmm. trying to have a child, DVR this, it's going to come on again and let them watch it because somebody's going to call in with a testimony of a supernatural yeah, miracle that is going to happen. God is a God of life. Amen. And it's such a powerful thing that's happening right now. Yeah, amen. You know, when, when you share that, it reminded me about what we went through with yes. our own child yes. and how we couldn't find a heartbeat. The doctor said, I remember what he said. He said, maybe next, maybe next time, time, maybe next time. But it was God you. God gave us a word. God gave us a word. That's right. We operated in that word and had faith. Mm, and on. that next time we went in, that, I mean, she didn't take, it wasn't too long before she found that heartbeat. So I just, I sense that as yes. well. Yes, yes, that yes. know that God can do Come it. On. Maybe Come nobody on. else can, Come but that's okay. God can do it. Yes. God has a plan and a purpose Prophesy. for you and that young, that little one that's living in your belly. So continue to stay faithful and keep your faith in the one who matters, and that's Jesus. Amen. Now listen, the Holy Ghost is already here. It's time for you to get in on the river and whatever you need right now, even though this is a special edition of Hope Today, Life in a post row World, there's a whole lot more that God wants to do for you. Who do we got coming up in just a moment? Yes, I'm so excited because we have Keith Young. He's the co-chairman of Vision for Life and he is homegrown. He is a native to Pittsburgh and he is with, like, once again, Vision for Life. And Vision for Life is an organization that really helped us in a massive, way. Uh, many of you may know that Google had shut us down. Facebook had censored us. So it was nearly impossible for us to get any women to come to our center. Um, and what that means is we couldn't really save the lives of the unborn. So because of Vision for Life, because of what they do, their heart for the unborn, we are now able to save babies on a consistent basis wow. week after week after week. Amen. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. There's a whole lot more of this special edition, Hope Today, Life in a Post-World World. You're going to learn a lot. Stay tuned. Life is in the house, and we'll be right back. When we think of the New Testament disciples, it's easy to idealize their walk with God. But they were just like you and me. They needed a great deal of help to stay on the right path. We're excited to announce that Tom Hollis has a new devotional coming out this June. Spirit Walk follows the apostles as they attempt to follow Christ, as reflected through the book of Acts. Their experiences can be ours as well. All we need to do is follow the Spirit. Enjoy 40 short devotional entries and discover how the journey of the apostles relates to us today. Spirit Walk includes a daily verse, prayer, and space to journal your personal reflections. Be among the first to receive Tom's devotional, which releases June 12th. Ask for your copy of Spirit Walk when you give today. Call 888-665-4483 or go to ctvn.org slash donate. Thank you for your generosity. Hope happens here. Well, life is in the house. The Holy Spirit is in the house. And our next guest is in the house. He is the co-chairman of the nonprofit Vision for Life. I'm so excited that he's here whose mission is to change hearts and make pregnancy medical centers known by helping local pregnancy medical centers harness the power of advertising. Keith Young is also the chairman of Mission of Mercy Pittsburgh, and he joins us now to share how his organization is saving lives. Keith, it's an honor to have you, and I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for having us. We really appreciate it. I love working with you folks and everything that you do, too. So it's great to be here. It truly yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I tell you what. I, the scripture comes to my mind. We have talked already. The Bible says one puts a 1,000, but two puts 10,000 to flight. And we're going to get into this in just a minute because the collaboration, some of y'all don't understand this, the collaboration of what he does with what we do 
the only way that we could save the lives of the unborn is by people like him. So those of you that are praying and interceding, you need to understand how important vision for life is, how important it is to know them and what they bring to the table. But I want to ask you, how did you get involved in this pro-life movement? Tell the people yeah. a little bit about how you got involved in this I've fight. I've been involved with pro-life for a long time. But after I, I was working and I, and I retired from business, I went to a Vision for Life banquet. And the first thing I saw was just the, the numbers that they had to show how many babies have been saved. And I said, this is what I really want. I want to see something tangible that helps me understand that we're having an impact in, in, this, in this fight against abortion. And that was what really, really drove me. But then there's, there's a lot of stories that you come and you see. The story you just told of a woman right. that comes yes. in. Mm -hmm. there's, there's countless stories that come through the pregnancy medical centers we work with every day of women coming in who were determined on abortion and then actually decide to have the baby. And that's, that's just one of a beautiful thing. And then you can see that. That's actually very tangible. That's right. That's right. That's so true. Isn't it great when you can actually, I mean, you see it right in front of your eyes. Absolutely. It's amazing. And so we have had the pleasure of working with you. And like I said before, I mean, Vision for Life has really been the lifeline. Yeah. It's helped us really um, save babies, more babies than we really could have imagined. Can you tell the people? People. What exactly is Vision for Life? Let's let's hear a little bit of the vision behind sure. Vision for Life and what you guys do. Absolutely. So what Vision for Life does is we actually provide financial grants to pregnancy medical centers so they can advertise. And before I go into the rest of that, the advertising is absolutely critical. That's what you just yes. said. Probably yes. the most important well, line item right. budget in the, on their budget. That's because right. if you don't know that a pregnancy medical center exists, those abortion vulnerable women are not going to get there. In fact, there's only, there's about 50% awareness of pregnancy medical centers. And you think about that compared to Planned Parenthood, which everybody knows Planned Parenthood. But there's that, that lack of awareness. We, we've got to get that message out there. So we have, what we do is we provide these grants to pregnancy medical centers and then they can, they can get advertising that gets to the abortion vulnerable woman and gets her into the center to be seen. And we work with six centers. Mm -hmm. uh, we work with three in Pittsburgh, two in Philadelphia, and one in Cleveland. And three of those centers actually use Choose Life Marketing, which you use. Yes, yeah. And yeah. they are, I'll be honest, that's, that's really a powerful uh, advantage for, for pregnancy medical centers because what they do is that they provide strategies around marketing and advertising and then actually build the campaigns for these pregnancy medical centers mm -hmm. so that they can reach as many women as, as possible. And they work actually with 600 pregnancy medical centers across the country, wow. so that's what they do for yeah, a living. Yeah. Wow, and you're right. I mean, I never knew how important advertising was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I know the kind of breakdown, the programmatic breakdown of things, but you're right, if you don't have that advertising, you really don't have really the, the meat of what you need in order to save these babies. Yeah, you're right, you know, and it, for those of you that don't know, this is the miracle of advertising, just so you're aware of what goes in. The whole purpose of this show is to get you off of the front row and onto the front lines, to educate you, to empower you, and to mobilize you. Yeah. We hit a, a basically a speed bump, or even a, I'll say a brick wall, and yeah. we started saving babies, but then we got censored by Google. And then here comes Keith along with Vision for Life. And I'll never forget when you guys first told us, you were like, hey, you're not gonna be able to keep up with the babies. And I was like, man, I, I, that's a great problem. Problem to have. Problem. That's a good thing to have. That's a good thing to have. And since right. that time, uh, it, what y'all have to understand, it usually takes two years to open a pregnancy center and another year to save your first baby. In under three years, we've saved over 50. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that again, over 50. 50 babies have been saved and we have to give so much of a shout out to you guys and what you do. And I'm so glad you're here because I think people need to know more because what you guys are doing is behind the scenes work. Right. You don't get enough credit. You don't get enough exposure okay. Okay. as to why we are successful as a center. So I wanna know if you guys can talk a little bit about just the collaboration between the marketing okay. grant and the marketing team and how that's impacted you. Right, well first I wanna mention that this was really, I mean it was truly an answer to prayer. And you may not even know this Keith, but in the beginning when we started, we actually, myself and the rest of the volunteers, we created a prayer list mm -hmm. and we were believing God 
God for just this list of things. And we were believing God for an ultrasound, volunteers. But in that list was marketing. Mm. And we said, okay, how are we going to do this? You know, that's not in my wheelhouse. I, I don't really know a lot about that. And then God sent us you guys. And he just answered that prayer. And I'm telling you, I just began to check off. That was another one I checked off. I checked off that. I checked off the ultrasound machine. I checked off everything. But it was, it was so important. And, cause, and, and maybe you can remind me, how did we meet exactly? How did that, how, well, when, when did we originally meet? Yeah, this is probably three, four years, years ago. ago. It, yeah. was, it was a while ago. And I actually, Chris Humphrey, who was the that's founder, right. was the founder yeah, of Vision for so Life. That's so true. And we came and met with you several times and we had some discussions about that's it. So right. the partnership has been great. And, and it's not only with you, but the other centers that we do, we yeah. have a very good relationship with them. But, you know, you think about advertising and, a woman who is in crisis, okay, mm -hmm. she doesn't know what to do. Where is she going to go mm -hmm. to try to find, if I want to have an abortion, where is she going to go? She goes to that phone. I think it's like 96% of the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. A woman goes to the phone mm -hmm. first. And so when we're advertising, providing that financial support and Choose Life providing the campaigns, that woman has a chance to be able to find a pregnancy yeah. medical center. Yeah. And why that is so important is that if that woman decides to come in and have a visit with a pregnancy medical center, mm -hmm. Eight out of 10 times she has the baby. Now, I, I hope your audience understands that is an 80% yeah. mm -hmm. success, right. success rate. Yeah. And that, so that's why it's so vital to have awareness of pregnancy medical centers so these women can come in and know they have a choice other than abortion. Right. They don't know sometimes. They, they think that the, we've been programmed so much to say abortion's the only answer. Yeah, it's, not. it's not. And it's they have a choice. Choice is a good word now. Mm -hmm. Used to be a bad oh. word. It is a good <laughs> word now. <laughs> and so they come in. And if you think about it, is that when a woman who is intent on abortion and she shows up mm -hmm. in a pregnancy medical center, mm -hmm. she comes in has the ultrasound, gets loving care there, has her test done, and she decides to have life, that's a heart change. Sure that's yeah. what, to me, that's how we are going to win the battle because you have to change hearts. She has now become pro-life. And as you and I were talking before the show, that becomes generational. I love that. That the becomes generational. generational. So that, yeah. that mother who had the baby said, I almost didn't have you. That's and then right. that goes and can, continues going on. Mm -hmm. So this is a spreading the word of through changing hearts to us is why we really focus on that because legislation's fine. We've got to have it. But if we're going to change this, this narrative, it's got to be through hearts. Yeah. And you're so right. Matter of fact, you, when you said that, you reminded me of a story that just recently happened. A woman, she was, um, you know, abortion minded. Mm -hmm. She had her ultrasound. She went in on the table. She said, looking at the ultrasound, she said, I cannot believe I was considering having an abortion. Amazing, isn't it? And at mm -hmm. that moment, she chose life right then wow. and there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And up to this point, because a lot of people may not know this, how many babies has your organization been in collaboration with to be able to save? Yeah, over, and actually this is, you know, we've expanded over the last couple of years, but for the two centers that we work with in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and over a period of nine years, it's been 10,000 babies more and more. 10,000 10, babies. Wow. And think about the impact of all those kids yes. that are now running around with kids, some of them probably with kids of their own at this particular point in time. So it's a lot. That's and, and I know you can bear witness with this is that you, you don't really know the impact because you're saving a life, but you don't know the life you're saving. Absolutely. You don't know who that person's going to be. And so 10, so 15 true. years, 20 yeah. years down the line, yeah. you're, you're, you're just so many jewels in the crown that God is going to reserve for vision for life yes. in heaven because of that. Yeah. Let me ask this question as well. What do you guys do? How do you garner your support? Because obviously you must be giving away thousands and thousands of dollars to do this. How do you get your support? Before I go to that is advertising is expensive. I think you guys know that. <laughs> it's, expensive. it's expensive. So the advertising that we do, you're probably looking at a center that's going to buy twenty-five dollars to $30,000 a year. And for a center that is on a shoestring budget, that is a lot of money for folks. And that's, so what we do is we actually end up paying about 80% of that. And it's about probably about $2,000 a month, so about 24000 And we do want the centers to have a little skin in the game, to be honest, so that they, right. they, they, they pay. Uh, but that's what we do to get that out there. So the, we have six centers, so you can just figure out that's a lot of money over wow. the course of the year. And what we want to do is we want to expand to as many other centers as we can. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at um, that expansion, let's say like 
you know Women's Choice Network, okay? They save about 300 babies a year. So if we're looking at that kind of, of uh, critical mass and we get to another 10 centers over the next two years, yeah. That's a lot of babies that's that you right. get that's to right. and you, that you are able to save because a lot of these places may not have had the budget or the, the knowledge of how to do advertising. Yeah. Yeah. So you get them mm -hmm. uh, onto the program that we have and then you're saving more lives. That's right. So all of that fits into we need to raise money for sure because what we do, we work with Choose Life, of course, and they mm -hmm. give out great marketing programs. And <clears throat> but for us to, to expand truly is just a question of the amount of money we can raise. The more money we raise, the more centers we support. That's as simple as it gets. And we, we do that through online donations, but we also have a banquet in, in June this year, June 27th, that hopefully people will be able to donate yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. So everybody, you heard it. We need to make sure that this is on our prayer list, yes. that we pray for increase, Amen. for vision for Amen. life, because Amen. increase equals increase of babies being Absolutely. saved. So Keith, like the story that I shared earlier, you know, I've, I, I have tons of stories, tons yeah. of uh, just praise reports and just success stories. Right. What, can you share maybe one success story that stands out in your head? I know that may be pretty hard because no, you probably I, have I, I with have the 10,000, but I do have one. Yeah, if you and could this, share one of those. You know Amy Shearing and this comes from her. Yes, so it's not, okay. not me or, or an original story. Yes. But we were touring her center and she had a, a mother come in with her 16 year old daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the mother absolutely wanted to have an abortion. Mm -hmm. and, the, the, and they came in and they took her in and had the ultrasound and the mother came in to see the ultrasound and they're doing the ultrasound. And all of a sudden she just starts saying, I never knew. And then she just stand there and they're continuing on. And then she says it again. I never knew. And mm -hmm. third time, same thing. Amy takes her and says, something's going on, takes her out in the hall, and, sa and she literally said, when did you have your abortion? He said, I was 16, same age as her mother, wow. and wow. Or her, her, daughter, her daughter, excuse me, mm -hmm. and they went back in, and she said, we're having the baby, that's my, grand that's my grandkid, wow. Wow. and they had the baby. <laughs> so, I mean, wow. that's the generational impact that's right there. Right. If you have a woman that's had an abortion, they, mm -hmm. they, are gonna, they may want to do the same thing with their children. Yeah. If they go the other way and have life, that's the generational going in the other direction. Yeah. Well, you know, as you're talking, it's amazing. I think about the line of your organization, Vision for Life, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're giving the mothers, the grandmothers, mm -hmm. a vision that life is life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so what you're doing is you're putting us in a place and putting the women in place to where they get a chance to see that baby's heartbeat. When that happens, 80% are going to say yes. That's why it's so important for you to get involved with us and to get involved with people like Vision for Life. Would you take a minute and explain to them how they can come to your webpage and how they can be a part of your gala, which I am honored to say I will be emceeing. Thank you. So I am looking forward to being there. I was there last time. They do a phenomenal job. You need to listen to him right now because you can yeah. tell you how you can be a part. One, if you don't mind if I say one thing before, because it. what we base everything that we do on is the sanctity of life. And I yeah. think we have to get back. I think we've lost that ability to understand that every person, including those in the womb, are made in the image and likeness yes. of God. And everyone has, a, has dignity. Yeah. And so that's our foundation. We yeah. want to save the lives on it, but we have to have that original foundation. And more people have got to get back to that sanctity of life idea. Amen. That's good. Amen. So, Amen. Good. Um, but the banquet, it's going to be on June 27th, and it's going to be at the Marriott in Cranberry. And what's really good about it, they're all good, I should take it back, but uh, the, on, we're going to have a keynote speaker. He's named Seth Dillon, and he's the CEO of Babylon Bee. Which he will be with us on our next show in June, by the way, that you're not going to want to miss. Absolutely. I'm glad that he's going to come in. Yes. But Seth is a, I mean, one, he's a CEO of, of the largest satirical website there is. They, they lampoon basically fake news, and they're actually very funny. He's a very funny guy. And, but they also, he's a proponent for free speech. He's, he's a, sat a satirist and he is also exceptionally pro-life. Mm -hmm. And so he's going to come and be talking with us. I think it's worth, there'll be a lot of good things, especially Pastor Jay talking with the MC, That's but great. coming just to hear him, he's going to have a very powerful message mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. So if you want to sign up and it's at, uh, 
visionforlifeusa.org and there's a seat, you'll see a big thing for banquet, just click on it and you can go in there and click on it and, uh, and sign up. But I think it'll be an, actually a really good night because we'll talk a lot about what we've just yes, talked about yes, here, yes. but then have Seth Dillon on top of that. So I hope people will join us. Well, Keith, we thank you so much for all that you do for us, for life, and uh, we just so appreciate it. And we'll look forward to having you back on Absolutely. the next show. One other yes. little plug, but I, I, I have a board. We're a working board, and I think you guys know how that works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have a very strong board, and we've just hired a new executive director. So I, I, I'm sitting here talking, but those folks are putting in a lot of time and effort Amen. to make this work. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate all the effort that they go to. So, yes. Amen. Thanks Amen. again, Keith. We Thank so appreciate you. you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for you having need to me. Go. Yes, yes, yes. You need to go to Vision for Life and find out more about them and how you can support them because by supporting them, you're ultimately supporting us. And so that's just phenomenal. And you know, I think it's so important that we give you one last update. We only got a couple of minutes left, but there's something great that happened. We started our 100 plus prayer campaign. Why don't you give them a quick yes. one minute input of really what quick. happened yeah all right all right april 20th we we did this last month it was our 100 plus campaign you can see the pictures as i'm talking right now we went down as a collective body of christ to be um just the the hands and feet of the lord and we prayed we interceded and in fact you know a lot of times when we pray we may not see the immediate effect but that day we did there was a woman that came yeah. by she had an appointment um in that particular abortion clinic and she saw all of our people and in fact it was so interesting because one of our volunteers that work in our center inner kind of they they kind of um just connected um because of where they were standing on the sidewalk and she pulled that particular volunteer aside and she said, listen, she said, I was about to go in there. She said, I had an appointment wow. in there today, this morning. And she said, I decided, I saw you out there and all of you, and I decided not to go in. And she began just to talk to her about everything. Pastor Jay, God can do it. He's yes, he can. on the move. He's always moving. He's always working on our behalf. And I can't wait until May 18th to see what he's going to do at our next 100 plus campaign. We're believing God for 100 plus people every month to come and pray to save 100 plus babies. That's what we're believing God for. God gave you that vision, which I think is completely outstanding. Listen, you need to come on down May 18th, 8.30 a.m. down at our center. We meet at the center and then we go down one block mm -hmm. to the largest abortion provider in our area and we are standing for life. It's time for you and me to get off of the front row and to get onto the front line. The only way for evil and abortion to triumph is for good men and women like me and you, and like us and you, to do nothing. Let's stand for life, let's have vision for life, and let's save the lives of the unborn. They're counting on us. On tomorrow's Hope Today, do you seek a deeper understanding of your faith and the afterlife? Author and podcast host Randy Kay shares the life-altering encounter he had with Jesus when he died and offers a soothing solution to being present in life here on earth. Don't miss tomorrow's Hope Today. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.